The peach root stocks, the same, we do it uh, together with uh, Ivan from Provar. And um, again, we evaluate for high potential root stocks. And we've got two, all water, it's a sandy soil, you can see uh, nearly 80%. There's nematodes. And uh, the second one is also in fall water, but it's the typical two soils that you get in the northern parts. It's a uh, high clay, 45%. It's not the same clay that we've got in the Western Cape, but it's a high clay. And there we've got new, uh, like Coast Guard, again, Kedem and Kalkomas. Kalkomas is our standard. Uh, this one, uh, uh, is only put in there. We're going to uh, take that out. Um, and then again, we've got this uh, local bread and we've got the uh, pack 70. So look, again, it's a sandy soil. We, we must concentrate on the sandy soils. That's where we get most of our dieback and our big problems. Every year we've got a lot of dieback on these type of soils. Again, there's a water table, but it's drained and there is a lot of rain. And we've got uh, these rootstocks uh, that we planted there. Okay, our findings at this stage, I don't want to go into much detail, but uh, the Okinawa and the OSM 993 uh, and the Florida Guard, they do very good. But this one, 993, is actually a peach time Florida Guard. So it's, it's also a Florida Guard. Uh, the high clay, the same. And we must remember that both these are sensitive to wet conditions. Um, Okay, what we want to achieve with these new ones is to look at new rootstocks. The Guardian, Garnem root pack and the Infratech bread ones. And at this stage, it's too early, but just to show you what we're doing. 